Hi everyone, Karen Arby here with Broken Ground and though we are still very much in the dead of winter, it is kind of time to start thinking about the growing season ahead and it's time to order seeds. Now if you're more organized than I am, you may have already done this, uh, but I wanted to give you my top five seed company recommendations. So my first recommendation is the Triple Divide Seed Organic Seed Co-op and they're based in Polson, Montana, and they're uh, breeding locally resilient crops um, for this region. And so the great thing, you know, my number one recommendation with regards to seeds in general is to go as local as possible. So if you have a local or regional source where you can get your seeds, that's best because obviously those varieties will be most well adapted to the climate um, that we're in. So if you're not in Montana, then wherever you might be, you know, searching out a local or regional source of seeds would be my number one recommendation. Um, so Triple Divide Organic Seed Co-op uh, provides open pollinated uh, seeds that are locally re resilient. And for those of you who don't know what open pollinated means, open pollinated means that that seed will be identical to its parent uh, versus like, for example, a hybrid seed or something like that. So Triple Divide Seed Organic Seed Co-op is, is one of the first companies. If you are in the Bozeman area, I think you can get their, their um, seeds actually at the Community Food Co-op. But again, you can go online and order seeds from them. Uh, the second company that I would recommend is the Good Seed Company, and they're in Whitefish, Montana. Um, and they, again, provide open pollinated non-GMO seeds, and they work with growers both in Montana and Northeastern Washington. So again, you're gonna get varieties that do really well in this particular climate. Uh, and the great thing about the Good Seed Company as well is that they are, are on a mission to promote seed libraries. Um, so uh, that's a really great, you know, you can be supporting the company by buying seeds from them and getting your seeds from them, but at the same time supporting that mission of trying to get more and more communities to save their seeds and to breed varieties that do well in that particular region. Uh, and just as a side note, here in Bozeman, Montana, we do have a seed library at our Bozeman Public Library, so you should definitely check them out as well. Um, and if you're not in the Bozeman area, obviously check to see whether uh, your local community may have a seed library too. So those are the first two companies, Triple Divide and Good Seed Company. Now, because they're smaller and they're more regional, they do have less variety. So if you are, what I, what I do is I try to, you know, get a good portion of my vegetables from those two seed companies, but if they don't happen to have what I want, or I'm feeling a little experimental and I want to try something fun or different, then I go with two other seed companies, uh, Baker Creek Heirloom Seeds and uh, Seed Savers Exchange. And Baker Creek has some really cool, funky varieties. I just saw the Atomic uh, Grape uh, Cherry Tomato variety that I might try this year. It's like purple and orange and yellow. Uh, they have like purple lady bok choy. Um, they have all sorts of fun, uh, different heirloom squashes. So if you're wanting to just try something different and then possibly if it works really well in your garden, then you can start to breed your own and adapt it to um, our particular climate. That's great. Um, so it's just a really fun um, seed catalog to go through as well. And then Seed Savers Exchange like I mentioned also has some great varieties heirloom varieties and Seed Saver also has a lot of different resources on saving seeds uh, so you can go to their website and get all sorts of great information about seed saving uh, so Baker Creek heirloom seeds and Seed Savers Exchange and then the last company that I would recommend is if you need like bulk seeds. So you just don't want that packet of seeds to make that row of lettuce. You want a, a bulk cover crop seed, for example. Then Johnny Seeds is a really good company. A lot of uh, farmers and growers use them. <coughs> Excuse me. And so I'll go there and I'll get a cover crop, say, of 
buckwheat seed or a cover crop of oats and peas and barley or something like that and I'll get in a big bag so if you're looking for larger scale type of um, seeding then I would definitely go there they also have a huge variety of garden tools and all of that but Johnny Seeds is goes from you know non-organic to organic from hybrid to open pollinated so there's definitely a much they're much larger scale so um, those are my five recommendations and another thing that I would recommend is not to go to big box stores to get your seeds uh, you know and the reason for that again is that big box stores kind of make a generic order of seeds so if you go there just like I wouldn't recommend you get seedlings there they're gonna have varieties that don't necessarily do well in the climate um, that you're in so if at all possible you know you can order your seeds online or you can go to a local garden center um, that knows what seed companies that are reputable and have worked well in our climate or a local nursery so those are my recommendations and I'd love to hear from you if you have really great go-to seed companies that you go to every year that you've had really good success with uh, growing in your particular climate. I'd love it if you shared that in the comments below. So thank you so much for watching and I look forward to seeing you soon.